Hey guys, it's Dylan here again. Today I'm going to be answering a few questions from my Instagram page. This is Kiki G, as some of you may know already. She is only six months old, little blue, tanned paws, which is pretty cute. But she's, oh, she's a bit tired, so I'm going to take her to sleep and then I'll answer some questions for you guys. So I played tennis for around a year and I got to about 1,400 in singles and just outside the top 1,000 in doubles. And it was an amazing experience. Got to travel all over the world and meet some amazing people too. When I'm not playing tennis, I love hanging out with friends and family. I'm also a big foodie and I definitely love going out to eat. I also love traveling and exploring the outdoors too. I started playing at the age of eight years old at my local park and I fell in love with the sport. I was a big keen football player at the time as well and around the age of 13 years old I chose to stick with tennis as I love the individual aspect of the sport and that everything that would happen in the game would be down to me. So if I would win it would be all for me, if losing then kind of it was a bit not so good. But you know I love the sport and I'm here today still playing the sport I love. Focusing on the controllables in a match situation such as your attitude and the effort and also your tactical decisions that you make on the court. Things that you can't control such as what your opponent's doing and how they're behaving and you definitely can't control the weather. So things like that you just have to kind of let go and if you can focus on your own controllables you'll do much better. I started modelling around two years ago roughly and it started off quite slow at the beginning. I was a uni student, so I was focusing on my studies, coaching, and a few courses that I was doing outside of university. And then the past year in 2020 was actually my best year of modeling. Even due to the pandemic, I still managed to get over 10 jobs and some global campaigns, which I'm very grateful for, and hopefully more to come for 2021. Favorite part of my job is helping others to learn and develop and become better tennis players and people. I love also gaining a deeper connection towards my clients as well because I want them to not just be the best possible tennis player on the court but I also want them to win at life as well. Balance is definitely key in life in having the job that you love and enjoy and also having the support of friends and family. I also try to not let negativity come into my life as you're your own self so you do things that you love and enjoy and try not to let all the negativity come into your life. My short term goals are to keep on inspiring you guys and creating more content and also I like to expand and grow my different social media channels. My long term goal is to hopefully work digitally through my laptop and phone and travel the world in when coaching. That's a very tricky question actually. I personally would say I prefer playing. It's such an expensive sport though so financially it's very hard to play for a long period of time. And I actually found my passion through coaching when I was working in Qatar and that's how I kind of came down the route of tennis coaching. Through my tennis page Dylan G3 I actually got scouted by an agency called Forte and this was over two years ago and they reached out to me asking if I wanted to do sports modeling and I didn't really know much about it at that time so I decided to go along with it and do a few test shoots and really enjoyed it and it kind of has led me to today and I've been doing many different things such as the sports modeling side, the e-com work. I recently shot something for a commercial which will be coming out later in the year which is quite exciting and hopefully we'll see what happens in 2021. So I have two pages, one's Dylan G3 with two E's and that's tennis and fitness and I think I have about 17,500 followers and I also have Dylan G3 with three E's and that is mainly lifestyle, so food, travel, sports modeling, family and I think that has about the same, well, 1,700, not 17,000 I wish. I've been quite a creative person since quite a young age and I love also giving back to other people so I thought what better way to do that than through tennis coaching and coaching all ages and abilities to help them to improve, be happier and also learn a new skill. So this has kind of led me down the road to coaching and I love this job so much. Nice question from one of my friends in secondary school. I definitely miss the friends that I made there. I still keep in contact with a lot of them. I have a few friendship groups and we also meet yearly at a pub close by to where I live to catch up on things the past year. 
This is a tricky one. In quarantine, it's very hard to stay motivated. And what keeps me motivated is writing down small goals every single day. And I just tick them off as I go through the day. I try to train at least three to four times per week, whether it's a little bit of cardio, uh, I love skipping and I love the outdoors, so I go out for my one hour of exercise. Otherwise, I have actually bought quite a little bit of equipment at home. I have a pull-up stand, I've just bought interchangeable weights, and I have a bar as well. And obviously I have the products from G's Fitness as well, which is just up here if you wanna check them out. And that's what I do to, to stay active and keep fit and strong. My goal for this YouTube channel is to not tie myself to just one thing. I do quite a lot of different things. So I just want to kind of bring you along to the journey that I'm on and hope you guys enjoy the, the content that I'm going to be creating. I got scouted via my tennis Instagram page. I feel like I'm not the one to know too much about this as I'm mainly based in the sports modeling world and this is kind of the niche that I fit in but you have to know kind of what niche that you would fit into. So by checking out online the variable heights and different abilities that you can do, maybe it might fit a better niche. So for me personally, I think that you should be using social media as it's one of the biggest platforms to growing and also getting yourself known. So kind of look at it like it's your portfolio. So if you have good pictures on there, clean and cut, then people are more likely to see that you have potential model material for the industry. Five things I can't live without. Family, including Kiki, of course. Sushi, ice cream, my phone, and lip balm, I guess. Firstly, going to America on a tennis scholarship when I was 18, definitely being a lot more independent that way. Second was playing professional tennis, moving to Germany for over a year to train at an academy full time and then travel the world playing professional tennis. And third, getting signed to a sports modeling agency and that enabled me to grow into what I'm doing now. Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal, my two biggest inspirations since I was a young boy. Rafa because he's a lefty just like myself and his work ethic is unmatched. Federer because he is just the absolute king of tennis. No one can match him. Getting booked for my biggest job to shoot for a brand called ASICS out in South Africa, which was an incredible experience. I found out on the Saturday and already the agent booked me a ticket for the Sunday to fly out there. So I worked all day from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Had to then get a haircut, pack my bags and then fly on the Sunday. It was an amazing experience. If you want to hear more about that, comment below. So that's most of the questions that I answered from Instagram. If you want to know anything else about me, leave a comment down below and stay tuned for future videos. So don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and stay tuned.